Good morning. Do you like the intro? I quite like the intro. Excuse the poor lighting, but I don't have a camera stand and I needed to get the tree in shot and this is the only cupboard thing that I could put it on. There's a tree, okay? It was either good lighting or the Christmas tree. So everyone this month is talking about Christmas because it's December and Christmas because Christmas. But, but here's the thing, I don't celebrate Christmas. My family does and thus the Christmas tree but I just can't stand Christmas at all. I'm not religious, so I don't care about the birth of Jesus. And I am all about social responsibility, and therefore I can't stand the self-centered consumerism that engulfs like half of the entire world during this season. As you rush out to buy pointless, awful toys and terrible electronics that will hopefully fill that huge gaping void in the center of your soul that you're not really sure what else to fill it with. Basically, it's self-centered consumerism at its worst, but blah, 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 blah. We've all heard this before and we don't need me ruining everybody's buzz, although I hope I did just cut the edge off a bit there. What I do want to talk about today is how to respect people who don't do Christmas. So I'm going to teach you some friendly advice how not to be a fart bag to people who don't celebrate Christmas. Number one, when I say I don't celebrate Christmas, do not reply with but you get presents, right? Because then that confuses me and annoys me about exactly what part of I don't do Christmas did you not understand. And then the fact that you jump straight to, but the material stuff, you do that, right? Like, no one cares about Jesus, but the material stuff, you got that. Kind of reinforces my point of to why I don't do Christmas in the first place. Two, do not ask me why I don't do Christmas. You know, I say I don't do Christmas, you say why I say because I don't agree with it. Leave it at that. Do not dig deeper. And that sounds kind of counterproductive, you know, it's an important time of the year for you and why can't it be important for me as well? To not do Christmas, I fundamentally disagree with what you consider or do not consider to be a part of Christmas. And also the reasons that I don't do Christmas are very sort of important to me. It's about social and economic justice, which Christmas completely ignores go Christmas. But exactly, I become this angry, ragey person rather than just like, I don't do Christmas. Let's move on. Because if you start asking stupid questions, I'm gonna get angry and ranty, and you're gonna think that I'm either a massive dick, or feel like a dick yourself for upsetting me. And number three, and I think this is the key one, the one that I want you to definitely take away, even if you disagree with everything else I said, is that don't think that because I don't do Christmas, I don't want to do Christmassy things with you. You are my friends and my family. You are the people that I go to when I am bored, upset, excited, whatever. And I already feel really, really insulated from your lives because I think that what you're doing is fundamentally wrong and stupid. So there's already that huge, like, disconnect between the people I care about and me. But there is nothing worse than like, oh, why didn't you invite me to this thing? Oh, you don't do Christmas, so we didn't think you'd be interested. Basically, don't make it a thing. I don't want to make it a thing, you don't want to make it a thing, because it doesn't make anybody happy unless you also don't do Christmas, in which case we can go and hide together. But then we're also isolating ourselves from our friends and family, so that's not really helpful. Just don't bring it up. We say it, move on. You know, mutual respect and all that jazz that all those nice people are always talking about. Do that thing. I know it's Christmas, but you can still be mutually respectful of people.